Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the legendary sitcom Yes Minister. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Yes Minister is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Yes Minister. John Saverden was born in 1938 in the sitcom he plays Sir Frederick Shambo Stewart. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 42 years old, and sadly he passed away on February 21st, 2024, at the age of 86. A conjurer. The three-card trick. You know, take any card and make sure they pick the one that you intend. <laughs> Ours is the four-word trick. Uh, so thank you very Isn't it pretty? Uh, thank you very much for this, but I... I I do want to give this also, I know we always... Derek Fones was born in 1937, in the sitcom he plays Bernard Woolley. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 43 years old, and sadly he passed away on January 17, 2020, at the age of 82. Two kinds of chairs to go with two kinds of minister. One sort folds up instantly, the other sort goes round and round in circles. <laughs> <laughs> really had an education, so we used to go, in those days, you went to a secondary modern school. Brenda Blethyn was born in 1946 in the sitcom she played Joan Littler. In 1981, when she joined the sitcom, she was 35 years old, and now she's 78. You are talking to him. <laughs> but he's not answering, you are. The minister and I are of one mind. Whose mind? Your mind? Oh. <laughs> Listen, I say, oh, you wouldn't find someone looking like Vera working in the police force. So I say, how often are you in a police station? <laughs> 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 so most, pe most people get their knowledge. Paul Eddington was born in 1927 in the sitcom he plays Jim Hacker. In 1980, when he joined the sitcom, he was 53 years old, and sadly he passed away on November 4th, 1995, at the age of 68. Our new Prime Minister, of course, who do you think? Well, what do you expect? The car's only just got back from the palace. I saw it on the news. Oh. Any moment now, then. So who's on Oh, I think no, really. I mean, it'd be a very tempting, tempting offer. I find it awfully difficult to resist a challenge, but I'd, no, I don't think it, no. No, I'd hate all that. John Edderton was born in 1929 in the sitcom he plays Sir Arnold Robinson. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 51 years old, and sadly he passed away on July 12, 2023, at the age of 94 and I can now see our way forward to placing your name at the head of the list. I see. <laughs> May I ask, uh, how many... Parliament to sign on them. Appalling. The next thing you'd have is politicians removing civil servants on the grounds of incompetence. <laughs> the thin end of the wedge. Yes. Graham Garden was born in 1943. In the sitcom, he plays Commander Forrest. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 38, and now he's 81 years old. ...but they are <laughs> relatively uncommon in the UK. <laughs> That's all right then. <laughs> Let's start with bullets, shall we? Obviously, there's your assassin on a tall building or in a... ...me laugh, and I've, they've really given me great joy over the years. And a lot of them I've worked with, Rob, mm -hmm. and uh, so have you. When Ian Lavender was born in 1946 in the sitcom he plays Dr. Richard Cartwright. In 1982, when he was in the sitcom, he was 36 years old, and sadly he passed away on February 2nd, 2024, at 77. You are... I am... what? Yes, you are... what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Concerned, and then they'd put out a few repeats and a few more. <laughs> Few more. Just doing it, don't <laughs> they? And it's very nice, thank you. Yeah. And you're beating Baywatch, hey. Nigel Hawthorne was born in 1929 in the sitcom he plays Sir Humphrey Appleby. In 1980, when he joined the sitcom, he was 51 years old, and sadly he passed away on December 26, 2001, at the age of 72. Yes, we did cross swords when the minister gave me a grilling over the estimates in the public accounts committee. I wouldn't year. say that. Oh, you came up with all the questions I hoped nobody would ask. Well, opposition's about asking all... Ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm very proud of this. Um, Shadowlands was a very special play to me, and I was certainly very proud to be in it. Robert Urquhart was born in 1921 in the sitcom he plays Tom Sargent. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 59 years old, and sadly he passed away on March 21st, 1995, at 72. Then, if you still persist, whatever your idea is, you'll say something like, Ah, oh, yes, Minister. <laughs> I quite appreciate the intention. Certainly something ought to be done, but are you sure? Diana Hardinot was born in 1941. In the sitcom, she plays Annie Hacker. In 1980, when she joined the sitcom, she was 39 years old, and now she's 82. You're very tense. I'm not tense. I'm just a politician's wife. I'm not allowed to have feelings. A happy, carefree politician's wife. Richard Vernon was born in 1925. In the sitcom, he plays Sir Desmond Grace Burke. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 55 years old, and sadly he passed away on December 4th, 1997, at the age of 72. Mm. And after all, if you're going to join the board when uh, when you retire, I mean, it'll be a bit tricky if there's no office to put you in, won't it? Uh, entertaining your visitors in a porter cabin in the car. Edward Jewsbury was born in 1917. In the sitcom, he plays Vic Gold. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 63 years old, and sadly he passed away on March 31st, 2001, at the age of 83. Today, asked me to see you instead. I'm sorry, Vic, it's not really a matter for the chief whip. Yes, well, the BM has asked me to have a preliminary conversation and write a background note. Save time later. Arthur Cox was born in 1934. In the sitcom, he plays George. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 46, and sadly, he passed away on April 9, 2021, at the age of 87. Corbett's in line for promotion. PM can't overlook him. And apparently, old Fred, I mean the employment secretary, sorry, sir, about my career until the guy I'm playing now is that people went, you're in that, you did Troy, or you did Super Troopers, or you did that. That's what I call being an actor. When we reflect on the incredible journey of Yes Minister that took place between 1980 and 1984, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.